Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. In the past few months I've seen a lot of people talking about this foundation so I decided that I would grab it. Um, I'm not gonna say anything yet because I feel like anything I say is just gonna lead. Okay, skip to chase, I hate it. But let me give you the specs and let me explain to you why I hate it so that you can form an informed opinion. Is that what it's called? An informed opinion, yeah, I think so. So that you guys can make a decision as to whether this is a foundation that is for you. So let me tell you the specs. So it says that this is a foundation and concealer. Let me read the bottle. It's allergy tested, 100% fragrance free and moderate to full coverage. Bye, mummy. Every review, she does this. It says that it's a natural to matte finish. So this foundation and concealer in one covers thoroughly with a lightweight feel. Naturally flawless look lasts all day for all over coverage or used to spot conceal. It's oil free. So if you guys are oily, this is a, well, this is supposedly a good foundation for, oh, I'm being too shady for the intro. So I am in the shade 24, which is golden. This retails for, I believe, 29 pounds. So let me double check. 25 pounds I lied. I know a lot of people have watched my Burberry foundation reviews almost like 4,000 views So thank you guys so much for that. This video is basically going to follow the format of that video So I'm going to talk first and then I'm going to do a demonstration So that you guys can see if what I'm saying is in line with what you're seeing. Did that make sense? So if you guys can hear if what I'm saying makes sense. Oh god, I don't even know what shut up. So first of all I'm gonna start with the cons unfortunately unfortunately i don't know if i'm doing something wrong but pff, i did not have a good time with this first of all cons it's hard to apply if you look at the packaging of it it's like this huge doe foot applicator which in theory you would think makes sense because a lot of concealers are in doe foot applicators and they make for easy like application under the eyes but guys this is the stiffest applicator ever like i don't even know how i can sh i'll show you when it goes on my face but this is the stiffest applique ever so first of all it's hard to apply that's my number one next it transfers easily even when set like i set it with my laura mercier and like hordes and hordes and hordes of it and it still transfers like it transfers all over my clothes it transfers on my hand it transfers on my pillows i had to wash all my pillows the other day because it just is it's a mess like i could touch my face and literally someone come off onto my finger like i just don't get it it creases like it creases around my mouth it creases around my nose it creases a little bit on my eyes like that i have creasy eyes in general but this is like an extra level of creasing that I just I've never known before it gets patchy I would have to say like on my chin and around this area I find that a lot of the foundation just disappears throughout the day like seven or eight or nine hours of using this foundation like no it just like you can't do it for me it had no oil control even with like some of my best 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 like sweat proof primers with my h&m primer that you guys know i love which is industrial it sucks all the moisture out of your face if you guys have seen me ever use it in a video like you literally can see that it gives a white cast and just even with that damn primer didn't work makeup forever speaking primer no soap and glory license to block which is my number one like favorite primer in the whole world no it just it didn't work especially in my season i was i'm always oily in my forehead whenever i wear this always oily in my nose and always oily in my chin and like round here i just i don't get it i wear glasses but like right now i have contacts in but i wear glasses normally and even like when i have glasses on it slides like the makeup just comes off of my nose i wore this in new york you know my in my new york vlog when i'm talking in sephora and i take off the sunglasses and you can see that the makeup's all gone off this is the foundation that i was wearing in heat like this just doesn't work i brought it to new york because obviously i wanted to test it out and i figured that heat was a pretty good place to test out a foundation that claims to be good for people with oily skin and it just was it just was disappointing like it just got so irritating to me that like if you watch my new york vlog for maybe like the last three days of the trip i didn't even bother to wear any makeup because it just i had whatever foundations but obviously i really wanted to try this for like a good five days but it just it didn't work a lot of the times when i'm in the office or if i'm at work if i sometimes i get like makeup in my contacts and then i just take them out and put my glasses in and like i find that when i take off my glasses at the end of the day a lot of my makeup comes off that happens anyway with glasses with some of my other foundations but not the amount that comes off with this foundation 
so like I said before I wore it in New York and it felt like it was sliding off literally guys it felt like it was sliding off my face like uh and it emphasizes imperfections like I found that like all the stuff that I didn't like that was wrong with my skin it emphasized at the moment I'm having like a poor catastrophe because that just happens to our scales when you just need to exfoliate and clean your face properly and it just emphasizes the pores and I don't know why that is I just I don't get it I'm a cake face but with my Estee Lauder, my Marc Jacobs, my L'Oreal like infallible, all my heavy duty industrial strength foundations. I never ever ever feel as though I've got foundation on. With this I feel like I've got foundation on, like I just, I'm so disappointed in this product and the last thing that I have to say is that if you are wearing this and you're going to be out, you're going to have to powder constantly because I had to powder constantly. I remember one day I was at my desk in the office and I was just like looking I just felt hot and warm and sweaty and I powdered and then it just made the foundation disappear even more when I was on my way home maybe like three or four hours later I had to powder again and then I was like I decided okay because I'm gonna do a view let me just keep wearing this for another three or four hours and I powdered like I was literally about to take the foundation off but I just powdered because I could not stand being such an oily mess on the positive side some pros there's not many but some pros i would say the price is good 25 pounds you get a really good value you get one fluid ounce which is the amount of foundation that you get in that regular foundations Giorgio Armani 60 pound foundation you still get one fluid ounce so this is a very very good price and Clinique is a high-end brand so that's really really good of them to have got such a low price point it does have a kind of nice matte finish when applied if you are the kind of girl that is oily and wants a foundation that looks a little bit dewy because this is a little bit dewy it's not like overly matte then this is a good foundation for that but it does look nice when it's initially applied I will say that but what use is a foundation okay stop hating stop and another thing is although I said that I could feel it it doesn't actually look cakey like out of a lot of the foundations that I have this is the only one that actually does not look like a full coverage foundation it's not a full coverage actually it's moderate to full actually moderate yeah this is the only foundation that I have that does not look like it's a full coverage foundation it does look quite natural on the skin but that lasts for about two hours Enough of me talking, I want to show you guys the application of the foundation. I'm using the L'Oreal Magic Blur. This is the one primer in my collection that I have not used this foundation. So let's give this a whirl and see if we have some different results. So I've got the primer on, I'm going to color correct real quick. And another thing, since we're on the bit of colour correction, when I do colour correct, even if I have a lot of the corrector on and it's really orange, it is quite good at covering it, I will say that. If you are a girl of my complexion and you have hyperpigmentation like a lot and you need a lot of corrector on, then this foundation will probably cover up like the corrector and you won't get like an orange undercast under the foundation. So I'm going to show you what I was referring to when I said that the applicator is rubbish and that the foundation is hard to like it's literally so stiff like it just does not move like if you're gonna make a big doe foot applicator for the face that like, at least give it some curvature like your face is not like one if it was like a flat surface that's fine because you could literally just slide it but your face has curves look I have curves that I need to go in there I have this I have that you get what I mean like and it just does not do it and like who wants to look like this when they're putting on their foundation like I have to resort to creating all these like lines and shapes which is fine because a lot of people do that when they contour and other stuff like that but I just like what is this like I hate this I completely completely commend them for trying something different you know how like the Urban Decay Naked Concealer which I'm favorite concealer like you pop it in and you get so much this is not the same like it literally the product literally goes on that little tip there and it doesn't like coat the rest of the brush which is really weird even if you like dip the whole thing in it literally still just coats it on the top there with some foundations I like to know if it's like a one pump two pump situation but because it's not a pump and you just kind of just spread it out i don't know how many pumps i need for a full face which is i don't know it's something that i need i like to know and it's something like information that i would like to give to you guys but i can't in terms of the shade match it's pretty good i got matched in selfridges it's pretty good at first it does look kind of light guys 
So if you do go there to go and get matched, if you get matched in like a concession, if it is looking a little bit light there and you're just not sure about it, maybe just ask for the size up. But it was looking a little bit light in the store and I just made sure that I like got the girl to give me a mirror, then I moved over to a different counter, I checked the lighting over there, she put a little bit there, I went to work with it, looked at it in the lighting at work and I thought that it was okay. So this is with essentially one like dip in there and one swipe actually i did swipe a little bit more so that's probably like one and a half so i'm gonna go in and we're gonna do two swipes and basically just in the areas which i don't feel i'm covered a lot so you can see it is a nice finish however i can see my pores and i've got one of like my favorite primers on so it's a little bit disappointing one another thing i will say is about the actual shade selection because i wear 24 and they work in even numbers and i remember that 22 was like way off and then 26 was way off so clinique is usually very good at that but for me i find that sometimes i'm in between that was not ideal but it is a good match i think it's a hair a hair a hair too light but it's okay and it's my undertone so that's what matters to me so as you can see, this is two swipes. Let me zoom you guys in. This is two swipes. I feel like you can see my pores and I feel like even with two swipes, it's not giving me the coverage that I want. Like this is nice, but this is not full coverage because I feel like I can still see some of the darkness under on my forehead. I feel like there's still a bit of darkness on my mouth. Look, there's like a patch of like darkness where it's not covered there and then can you see on the side so i'm gonna have to go in for three which is not bad you'd normally do three pumps or something in another concealer but it's just the stick format makes it so much harder to, to gouge how much like makeup you're putting on your face uh, so there you go. I just fixed it, but you can literally see. If you were looking close enough, you would have just seen that that got a little bit patchy and then I just had to blend it to kind of make it work. Like I feel like I have to work with this foundation more than a lot of my other foundations and it's still not even giving me full coverage. Like I don't feel like my face is fully covered, but I'm lucky that with the concealers and once I put everything on, it will cover the rest of it. So this is how the foundation looks on. I've kind of given you a talk for as I've been putting you on so you guys know how I feel about it. Overall, out of five, I would give this foundation a two. I'd give it a one, like a whole point based on the price point. I'd give it the other like one just for the fact that it does look like nice when it's applied like decent but i don't feel that it's the kind of coverage that i would like from foundation like if you can see there i still got some darkness under there you can see there's still darkness there on my forehead around these areas and around on this side I, obviously i've said that i got really oily when wearing this foundation and i want you guys to know i'm not that oily so the fact that this foundation has made me so oily is kind of like ugh. I don't want to say I hate this foundation, but I hate this foundation, which is really disappointing because I know a lot of girls that are even more oily than me have used foundation and they love it, but I don't know. It didn't work for me, but I hope that through this review, I've given you guys somewhat of like a educated like response to the foundation. I hope that you've been able to make your mind up and I hope that just because I didn't like it, that it would deter you guys from trying it because I love trying new products, even if they don't work. Like I like being able to say it didn't work because this, it didn't work because this, and maybe I can change something about my routine to make it works so likewise for you guys so like i said two out of five i would say but banging price if you are looking for a high-end foundation that is not gonna break the bank this is good because it's 25 pound give it a chance i would say give it a chance because i haven't seen too many negative reviews just because i've had a bad time with it it appears that a lot of people haven't so don't let this review sway your opinion of the foundation but Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. I will link down my Burberry Cashmere Foundation review down there because we're almost at 4,000. And let's get it to 4,000, guys. Let's get that video to 4,000 now. Don't care how I want it now. Thank you guys for watching. Leave any comments or feedback or anything about the foundation. Maybe I'm just wearing it wrong. I still do have a full bottle. So if you guys have some kind of insight into maybe what I'm doing wrong, then I just realized I'm about to end this video and I haven't even set it the damn thing. So I'm going to set it with my RCMA translucent powder because I have not used this powder with it. So let's go. I can't believe I did a whole outro and everything and didn't even set my face. So I've set it with the RCMA powder and I feel like that just made it look worse. Like it just makes the foundation disappear usually when i set a foundation with a powder it makes it look more full coverage it kind of just sticks it to my face but that's not what 
is going on with me and usually I just like the powder to kind of sit on the surface I don't like it I, I like it sinking in but I like to just let it sit on the surface so that it can really penetrate into it that's that's like cooking that's baking when you trap the heat under powder thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you have enjoyed this review and I will have many more reviews to come I will see you in the next one bye guys I kind of feel like I should film a disclaimer because on the day that I filmed the review I wore the foundation to work and I got a compliment from one of my friends who was a makeup artist and she was like yo foundation looks amazing and I was like right it looks good the day that I filmed the review saying so you know how much I hate the foundation but the difference was that I used the RCMA powder to set it and not my usual Laura Mercier one but it's like Laura Mercier powder every day so for a new foundation to kind of work in my routine it's got to work with the existing products that I use so, working with the Laura Mercier powder, I would say no, but working with the RCMA Blue Color Translucent Powder, it's a yes. It was so much better guys, so much better. The old control was good, it didn't disappear at all, so I'm sorry that I've given you somewhat of like bipolar review, like it's kind of like two polar opposites, but I just want you to know if you use it with that powder, it may or may not work, but with the RCMA, I'm not guaranteeing, but I can say that it'll probably do a lot better job than the Laura Mercier powder, which is a shame because that's my favourite Holy Grail powder, and that stuff like can make anything just stick into your face, so I'm very surprised that it didn't work, but I thought I'd come on here because I didn't want to just post a negative review and like just leave it all in the air so you guys could be like, well, what do I do? Still up to you guys, but I felt like... I just didn't want to post a negative review when of course my opinion of the foundation slightly changed so. but what I think I'll do is we'll keep this review up for a little bit and then in a few months time we'll do like a check up and I'll let you guys know exactly how I feel what's the best primer to use for it but take this as a kind of initial review thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye man a bad man look at my yellow pyjamas and cap